Howdy, partner. Today, we're gonna to show you a quick trick which will save you hundreds of dollars on your energy bill by just swapping out one of these old non-programmable thermostats with a cheap functional alternative. The option that we're showing you today is this Honeywell Home programmable thermostat. Now I picked this up for $24 on Amazon. So this is really cheap and we are gonna save probably more than 24 bucks in just the first month alone. So if you have an air conditioner or a heating system, whether it's gas or electric, you have the old thermostats, which may be a dial or maybe one of these, and basically you just set it and you try to remember, oh, I'm leaving for the day, let me turn it up, or I'm going to bed, let me turn it down. But you don't need to do that. You can get a programmable one if you don't already have one or haven't had experience with this, and this will make a huge difference. So we're gonna show you step-by-step step how easy it is to swap this out, and then you'll see that by changing the temperature when you're not home, or raising or lowering it, depending on your schedule, both during the week and on the weekends, you're gonna save a lot of money. <laughs> Who doesn't like to save money? So we'll get you started, let's check it out. Your first step is gonna to be to locate your breaker panel and turn off your circuit breaker for your AC handler, your thermostat, all that stuff. You wanna do that for two reasons. Number one, you don't wanna get shocked. Even though this is low voltage, you still don't wanna get shocked. And number two, you don't want your unit turned on and off as you're messing with it. So do that to protect everything. Then you're still going to probably have some power on here because this is battery backup. But on most of these units, if you don't see any exterior screws or anything to take apart, you're just going to grab it and you can shake it either from the top or the bottom and it should just snap off. And that's how you replace your batteries if you need to get your batteries. Now when you look over here, you're going to see that you have a number of different wires coming out of the wall and they're connected. And these are labeled connections. So you see that's, that's in, the, in the C that's in a Y, that's in a R, that's in a W, and then this one is in a W2. So what you wanna do is the Honeywell thermostat came with these labels, and we're gonna stick these labels onto these wires as we unscrew them from here. Because you could say, oh, okay, R is red, but on some of these, depending on how they wired it, it may be that the blue is actually in the R. So just look at whatever label it is here, and you have the corresponding labels here, and stick them around your wires. Also, you can take a non or a contact uh, voltometer, and you can touch it to make sure you have no electricity run through here, just if you really want to be extra safe. But either way, you, if you already turn off the circuit breaker, you should be good to go. So take a small, small screwdriver, I have one of these sets that is really handy for this type of job where you have a super, super small spot. And you're just gonna go ahead and unscrew the connection. We know we've got no power there. And then you're gonna pull out that wire, which again, this one is in the, the, the G. So we're gonna pull out that G. And it shouldn't be hard, but this one is stuck in there. And once you pull out that G, then you're gonna take the G label and you can stick it onto here so that you know it's a G. And that will help as we're rewiring up the new one. So get all those wires taken off, label all of them, and then we'll do the next step. Another thing I forgot to mention, Take a quick picture of this. Take a picture before you do anything. And then that way, you can always go back, you can slap on your old thermostat and get back to business if you have any trouble whatsoever. So make sure you take a picture before you do anything with your phone. Okay, once everything is all taken out and labeled, then you wanna take out the mounting screws on your old one. And hopefully the holes will line up for the new one, which is always nice. But go ahead and take those out. And then you should be able to pop your old one off. See what color paint you used to have there. And we've seen, we've had a couple different thermostats here. So we will now take the plate from the new unit that came with it. So now take the plate from the new unit and we're gonna work all those wires right into the middle. And then we're gonna see if these holes will line up with the old holes. So you see there's a hole here and a hole here. Pretty good, and I think with the cover, you're not gonna see much paint, we can touch that up. So now, because we took out those old screws that were already there, we're just gonna go ahead and put back in those old screws. If not, it comes with hardware, and you can go ahead and do that, but we're doing all this whole thing with just a little screwdriver. So let's tighten that down, then we'll move on to the next step. So at this step, now you've got all your, la your wires labeled, you're gonna see the new labeling that we have here for this unit. So the instruction manual is very clear, 
and it talks about, for instance, we had a C wire and there's no C label here. And it tells you if you have a C, you don't connect that. So you're gonna take that C wire there and you're gonna wrap it in electrical tape. And then you will just shove this up into the top here and it will not connect to anything. And it also says if you have an R and an RC to take out a jumper, but we don't have that. So it's pretty simple. The R is gonna go into the R, the Y is gonna go into Y, G into G, and W into W. Again, it's the same as taking it, uh, as when we put it, took it out. So you loosen this little screw here, and they're really small. And you're gonna take the R and you're gonna push it in to the slot for the R, and then you just attach it in there, and that's it. So we'll attach them all, and we'll be done in just a jiffy. Well, that took about two minutes. We got everything connected, so you can see we got all the wires all neatly tucked in there. Then we're gonna take the new programmable unit. It takes two AAA batteries, and you're just gonna snap it on. And I think it goes just like that. So before we get all set up, we're gonna go ahead and turn back on the breakers. And then once you get the breakers back on, we'll show you how it programs. This is really neat. Programming this thermostat is actually pretty easy. So it's got four basic settings and time zones. Sleep, wake, leave, and return. So you can set a schedule for Monday through Friday and another schedule for Saturday and Sunday. So basically you say, okay, what time am I going to bed? What time am I going to wake up? What time am I leaving for work? What time do I get back? What time do I go to bed again? So you're going to set that so that you're not overcooling the house when you're not here or overheating it. So we'll run through, get this all set, and show you the finish. What you can also do is once you set that cool on, you can go ahead and just turn the temperature down and say, okay, I want it to be 70. And what it'll do is it'll stay at that temperature until you get to the next cycle and then it will reset. Also, you could hold the temperature on the hold button and that would keep it at temperature forever. But if you get home a little early, you wanna turn it down, you just turn it down, turn it up, and it will just keep that till the next cycle. Hope this was helpful. Again, $24, great deal. We have two thermostats in this house. Already replaced one with this, tested it out for a couple weeks and it's been working great. So I wanted to share this with you because if you're keeping the temperature at the same temperature in your house throughout the whole day, you're definitely wasting some money and wasting some energy. Again, if you like this video, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, likes and comments and any questions you got, put it in the comment box. Tell me, what temperature do you like? Do you sleep at 73 or is that too warm? My wife would like to be an ice box if she could have her choice. So, what do you think? Again, thanks for watching. Remember, if I can do it, you can too.